Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Fine, okay, that's great. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, here we are. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Miriam. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay. Excellent. So, how many people do we have today? Three, four, eight, twelve. Okay. At the beginning, there were like 28. Now we're going down. Okay. Don't give up. Okay, here comes another one, Emma. Okay, so many more. Good. Okay, so one thing. Okay, so we're going to go to the platform then to test. Uh, Not a midterm mid uh, test. Okay, here we go. Okay, so just where we stop in uh, giving directions, right? Remember, additionally, you will practice the conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. In a real life setting. And Okay, we're going to use this one. It's on the corner of Main and First. Hi, everyone. It illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. 
The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. Post Office? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore? Where is Dam's Drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Good. So then this is enough just to review the, the let's see the, the, okay, the uh, prepositions, right? And also we have the direction, okay, which were this one. That's cathedral nice. or how can I get to San or and give that walk up go up we were talking about this book down right go up fifth avenue turn left on 40 then is it far from then look up here we're going to practice giving directions now Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So 
let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or, how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on. Turn right on. On the right. On the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up 5th Avenue or go up 5th Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down 5th Avenue or go down 5th Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Okay. So there you have, this is the, you know, like a quick review, right? Of the topics that we studied last night using the prepositions and also using the directions like go down, walk down, go up, walk up, right? And turn left, turn right, okay, and these are the ones that we need to practice. Okay, now, questions in this moment? Anybody has a question about, I don't know, any expressions, vocabulary, uh, pronunciation? Teacher. Yes. Eh, siempre que usemos on the corner of, vamos a poner dos nombres de las calles, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. the, the two streets that make the corner, right? Second Avenue and let's say the 42nd Street. So then that's the, the, the corner, right? So you have to mention the two streets. Mm -hmm. That's correct. 
What else? Another question? No question, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, remember that the questions are free, okay? Ahorita no estamos cobrando por las preguntas. Yes, no problem. Okay. Only, only, only this month, March, okay? Oh no, only these two weeks because that, uh, the next week I have to start collecting because I need money for the vacation. Okay, now we're gonna have, by the way, where are you going on vacation? Any plans for your vacation? No? No, teacher. No plan. Oh, come on, come on, okay. But, uh, no, teacher, but stay, at home. <laughs> stay safe, uh huh? But I got, but I would like, yeah. I would like go to the to the uh, beach. To the beach, right? Okay, yes. I think it's necessary, yes, right? With my family. It's necessary yes, now to, to go and relax. Hey, be, yeah. you, have, you have to be careful, right? But uh, that is it's necessary to do. Okay, guys, now uh, we're going to use that map, okay, uh, to, to make questions. And what places, for example, you're gonna be visiting, and you can use the map in the video. Um, do you do you have the the material right the, with the map? Or you don't. Because Thank you. Uh -huh. Can you repeat your, your, yes, if, your question, if, please? Do you have the map? Do you have the image of the map? No. No. I only see you. Okay, so, uh huh. Can you share your, your screen and we take a screen? Yes, that's what I'm going to do because I, I have one. That's what I'm going to do and I'm going to send to you a, a screenshot. The problem is with this, that is it's very slow and it's not, a, it's not the best image or and give directions, and like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? So no. You have to find one that is larger and... Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? This one, probably. This is a great one. Okay. I will also take the screen, I mean the, the picture better. See if you can take a screenshot of that one. Yes, but it is impossible. Read the letter. The number, right? It's too high because it's too small. Let me see if we can. Let me try with a picture. Teacher, creo que más adelante el video, en el propio video, este, como que queda grande. Yes, uh -huh, that's um, what I was looking for. But look at that one. I sent you one okay. to the WhatsApp right now. See if it works. Okay. First instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or Go up Fifth Avenue.
How do I get to St. Patrick's okay, Cathedral? This one. I think we can also try this one, yes. Okay, with these two images, we can brush this, right? Even in this one, for example, we can say, uh, this is what you're gonna do in the, in the group, right? For example, suppose that I am in number one, okay? I am here at the entire state field. And I want to go to Grand Central Park. No, Grand Central Terminal, okay? Then, what is instruction, uh, what are the instructions here? Then it says, walk up to 42nd Street, correct? Then you start walking, 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 okay, to 42nd Street. Then, Turn what? Left or right? Right. Turn? Left? Right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Okay. Oh. Turn, right. Uh -huh. Turn right on 42nd Street and walk. walk. Two blocks. One, two. Walk two blocks. One, two. So this is a block. This is a block. So these are blocks, okay? Uh, walk two blocks, and the Grand Central Terminal is on the left or the right? Left. If on the left. Okay. You feel like like three sentences, right? First, walk up or go up. To forty second street. Then turn right on forty second. Turn right and go straight ahead. Okay, this is another one. Go straight ahead. By a recto. Go straight ahead for two blocks. One, two. The Grand Central Terminal is on the left. All right, teacher. Yes. When we right. use uh, go up, go down, mm -hmm. uh, no utilizamos on para decir, por ejemplo, no, no. go down on Fifth Avenue. No, you say just go down Fifth Avenue. Uh, you can also use walk up on, yes, you can use it, but it's not, I mean, you can omit it, no problem, right? You okay. say go down Fifth Avenue and that's it. Okay, what else? Yeah, let's see now. We are on number four, Rockefeller Center. Okay, I'm here. And I need to go to uh, New York Public Library. So the directions are go down, okay, go down to uh, Sixth Avenue. Okay, go down 6th Avenue to 42nd Street. Then, turn what? Help me, turn. Turn left. Turn left, correct, turn left. And walk to, then walk to 5th Avenue. Okay, the New York Public Library is on the right. Okay, this is a simple way to, you know, to give directions, right? St. Patrick's Cathedral, and suppose I am uh, here at the Grand Central Terminal, and I need to go to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Then you say, go or walk, walk to Madison Avenue, turn right, then walk up to, walk up to, in direction to, right? Walk up to uh, 49, 50th Street, okay? Turn left, 
and the and St. Patrick's Cathedral is on the right. Okay. Or if the front is here, they go walk to Fifth Avenue, turn right, and St. Patrick's Cathedral is in front of you. No problem. Okay, now I need one volunteer. Raise your hand. Raise the hand. One volunteer. Nobody. Oh, I see you. I see one here. Okay, wait. Okay, I got it. Jorge, right? Yes, teacher. Tell okay, me. Jorge. I am the city here in Bryan Park, okay? And okay. I want to go to, let me see, to, to, to the apartment, the apartment, to the St. Patrick's Cathedral, is the, the name more closer. Closer here. Okay, from here to St. Patrick. Do you want to go St. Yes. Patrick? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, go straight in Sixth Avenue. Okay. Uh, until uh, twenty-two Street, right? To twenty-two. Uh, on uh, 2021, maybe. No, there is not 21. So I'm here to here. Or maybe you only. Oh, you, you mean 41 or 42? Uh, there is 42. Okay, so then if I am here, you can say walk up. Okay, or okay, walk, walk to Fifth Avenue. Walk out uh, to 40, 42nd Street. Okay. And uh, now you turn turn, turn right uh, to Fifth Avenue. In Fifth Avenue, you uh, turn left. Eh, left, yes. uh -huh. se recto? Walk, se go, recto? Perdón, go straight ahead. Go straight ahead. Okay, in 42, in, in 42nd Street, if you turn, turn left and go straight ahead in 5th Avenue. Okay. Until at St. Patrick Cathedral. Okay. St. Cathedral, Cathedral is on the right. It's on uh, Fifth Avenue. On um, Fifth Avenue on the right, okay? On the right. On the right. Uh -huh. So you have to use your right. Okay. So then you can say here, Bryan Park, walk to, walk on. Here you can say walk on 42nd Street to Fifth Avenue. There's another one that you can use. Turn left on Fifth Avenue. Go straight ahead to forty to fifties. Uh, let's say the street in St. Patrick's Cathedral is on the right. So there are different ways to use it, right? So no, no problem. Okay, good. Now I'm going to give you directions. Le voy a dar unas direcciones, ustedes las siguen, el que se pierda, se queda, y el que no, que me siga, okay? Got it. Y al final me dicen a dónde los he llevado. Okay, <laughs> Okay. I'm going to give you directions. Le voy a dar direcciones, y ustedes me las van, van a seguir. Okay? Okay. 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 Wait, just somebody's asking me. Oh, okay. Straight ahead. 
that's the one. Okay, good. Now, we are all here. Aquí estamos todos. Okay, and then yo voy a estar, eh, voy a dar direcciones, no voy a usar el mouse. Ah, okay. Y cuando le pregunte al final, where are we? Me tiene que decir a dónde estamos, okay? Vamos a dar vueltas, okay? Got it. Now, here we go. Number one. I got it. Okay. Eh, walk up Fifth Avenue to 46th Street. Turn left and go straight ahead to 6th Avenue. Then turn left, go straight ahead up to 40, let me see, 43rd Avenue, okay? And turn left again, go straight ahead up to uh, Madison Avenue, then turn right, then walk one block on Madison Avenue, turn left on 42nd Avenue, and walk to Park, walk to, walk to Park Avenue. Where are we? Uh, Central Terminal? Yes. Grand Central Terminal. ¿Cuántos llegaron ahí? ¿Todos? No, yes. teacher, yo me perdí. <laughs> yo me perdí. <laughs> That's okay, no problem. Okay, yes. Okay, good. Eh, ¿Quién fue que llegó? ¿Quién, quién llegó? <laughs> Somebody here. Uh, I'm Evan. Yo, Evan. 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 Yeah, okay, Mariela. Good. And then, how do you get? ¿Te acuerdas por dónde nos fuimos? I don't remember. <laughs> ok, ajá, pero ¿qué estrategia utilizó? El nombre de las calles. O sea, me ubiqué por el nombre de las calles. Ajá, exacto. Right? Al final lo yo 42 Second Street. Exacto. Uh -huh. right? okay. Y luego, o sea, terminé de ubicarme cuando dijo Park Avenue. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ok. ¿Ven? Esas son a veces, muchas veces, eh, lo hice de esa manera porque a veces no se entiende todo lo que le están diciendo a uno, pero se ubica por algunas palabras clave, right? Siguiendo un mapa es más fácil ubicar. Good. Now, ahora I'm going to do it using blocks. Voy a usar bloques, no voy a usar los números de la calle, ¿ok? Aunque hacen que cada, cada cuadrito que ven ahí es one block, ¿ok? Ok. Good. Ok, teacher. Ok, number one, number one again, number one again. Okay, we are in the Fire State Building. Okay, walk up uh, Fifth Avenue for seven blocks. Turn right and go straight ahead for two blocks. Then turn left, go ahead for one block. Turn right, go straight ahead for one block. Turn left, and go straight ahead for two, four, six, seven blocks. Turn left, and go straight ahead for two blocks. Where are we? St. Patrick. Mm, not exactly, pero cerca. Más exacto, sí. O sea, está bastante bien. Pero... In front of. Uh, no, <laughs> no, it's not in front of. ¿A dónde me vio Catherine exactamente? Um, creo que en Madison Avenue. Uh -huh. Manchester. Mm, 48 Street, I think. Okay, perfect. Una, una, una cuadrita abajo se puede. En la 49. Uh -huh. <laughs> en Madison, uh -huh. Madison Avenue and 49. Yes, exactly. It's in, in the corner. So uh, we are on the corner of Madison Avenue and 53. 49th Street. Uh, 49, yes, 49. Sorry. 
Ok, perfecto. Sí, eso ya es un poquito más complicado eh, porque hay que ir contando los, los blogs, right? Good. Ok. And then let me see. Now we have the pictures, we have the images. And go to the right now, in case this one. Okay, good. So we're going to have 10 minutes. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue, or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Okay, that's what I want to stop. Okay, we're going to do this one. Okay, good. Now you're going to practice the with the map and giving directions, right? So we're gonna have two, three, yes. Here we go. Hi, teacher. Hey, what happened, Rodrigo? Uh, I am lonely. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, wait, we're just what we are waiting for the others to join. Okay. Okay, teacher. Let me check who else is missing. I guess there are some people who have Okay, Evan, here's Evan, right? Okay. okay. Yes, now you can start. It. Thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Diciendo direcciones y a dónde llegué. Eh, sería de dónde está y a dónde quiere ir. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can say, for example, I am in. The Empire State Building, and how can I get, how can I get St. Patrick's Cathedral? Oh, I am in St. Patrick's Cathedral, how can I get the New York Public Library? Okay. Choose New York Public, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm St. Patrick, and go New York Public Library. Uh -huh. And how do I get, how do I get to, New York Public Library. Okay. And I am St. Patrick Cathedral. 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 Yes. Yes. Cathedral. Mm -hmm. Okay, Catherine. 
What's the question? Uh, yes, for example, uh, use the map and you say, I am, uh, I am in, let's say, uh, at the, at the, at the terminal, central terminal, and then how can I get to the Empire State Building? Okay. And then, uh, I... but you can ask Natalie or you can ask uh, Emma, right? So that they can give you the, the instructions. Mm -hmm. And after Natalie, you mm -hmm. can ask Emma and Emma, you can ask Catherine. Okay, at least to practice one time each. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. I'm in the Empire State Building. How can I get to New York Public Library? Okay. Bueno, entonces, uh, I am New York Public Library. I want to go. Um, San Patricio Cathedral. Okay. <clears throat> ¿De dónde fue, perdón? New York Public Library. El dos. Um, Um, go right, sería verdad. Right. Forty um, second street. Sí. Yes. <laughs> okay, Claudia, don't worry. So, Diego, can we practice in a in Claudia, you can only listen eh, oh. lo que nosotros hablamos. <laughs> so, we, what we say. Diego. Yes. Ah, hi, teacher. Hello. Oh, okay, hi, Diego. Teacher. Okay. I am in Empire State Building. So, eh, you go straight ahead in Fifth Avenue. So walk, eh, teacher, para decir, camina hasta tal lado. Walk to. 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 Ok, Diego. Eh, walk to. Go straight ahead in Fifth Avenue and walk to eh, 43rd Street. Ok. 40, 43, 43. Yes. 43. 43rd. 43rd. Uh -huh. 43rd. Is here. Is here. Is here. Yeah. Now you turn right and, oh. and walk two blocks. Where am I? Um, um, Grand Central Terminal. Yes, is it okay? <laughs> okay. Now, uh, your turn. Okay. Where are you? Cathedral, right? Then I go down seven blocks and, and where, where, I, where am I? Forty four Street, seven block, turn left, and next to New York Public Library. Okay. Okay. Eh, vamos a ver otra. Eh, estoy en Grand Central Terminal. Uh, Y necesito ir a, a Brian Park. Brian Park. Um, on the... Oh, no. No. Okay. 
Okay. The teacher. <laughs> teacher. How are you, teacher? Good. How, how's everything? Come on, good. Uh, yes, sure. teacher. Very well. Yes. Very well. Okay, yes. No problem. I, no, no problem. Uh, we I'm we sleepy. we talk. <laughs> we oh. are sleepy. Oh, you're yes. sleeping. Yes. You're tired. You're tired. It's okay. Good. Yeah. Okay, but we're just a couple of minutes. Yes, just a couple of minutes, and you yeah, teacher. will you sure. will be free. Okay. Good. Can you sure. can you teacher can yes. you end this class now, please? <laughs> Oh, no, no, the, the session, yes. <laughs> oh. no, so, sorry, I can. Okay. Right, <laughs> okay, well, continue practicing. Okay? I want to so, break free. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Cultural at Rockefeller Center. Puedo ir recto. <laughs> eh, walk, no, turn to the, to the left on the 49 block and then eh, straight ahead two blocks. Okay. Me dijiste, me lo puedes repetir, please. Um, walk down on 49 is block then straight ahead uh, two blocks the okay. Rockefeller Center is on the 6th Avenue okay All right. and how can I get to Empire State Building and in Bryan Park I'm Brian Park. Okay, go straight ahead. Eight block, turn left, and next to a uh, library. Okay, almost everybody's here. Okay, how was the experience? How did you feel? Questions, uh, comments, preguntas? ¿Cuál fue la experiencia? ¿Qué, ¿Qué les hizo falta? Todo, porque mí, la experiencia que tuve fue que me sacó de la plataforma oh, cada momento. Yeah. Okay. Entendí. All right, all right. That is Teacher, good. how do you say? Se nos acabó el tiempo. We, we <laughs> ran out of time. Uh, se lo he he said, we ran out. Ran out is acabar. Ran out of time. Okay. Ahí puede decir, we ran out of gas. Nos quedamos sin gas. Se nos acabó el gas. We ran out of money. Se nos acabó el dinero. Okay. Uh, we ran out of uh, time. Okay, we ran out. Okay, good. What else? Uh, do you do you uh the uh do you remember the expressions like uh, go straight ahead, turn right, turn left. Okay, uh, walk up, go to, walk to, go down, 
walk down, walk up, right? So this is, these are the places that you need to, to not to give directions, right? To, to use this vocabulary. We're going to, uh-huh. Teacher, sorry, yes, una pregunta. Este, ¿se puede en vez de go straight ahead, solo decir go ahead, no? Mm, no, because go ahead has other meanings. Por ejemplo, cuando me han oído que usted me hace una pregunta, yo digo, teacher, una pregunta, ok, go ahead. Yo le digo go ahead, ah. es decir, adelante, siga. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, um, gracias. When you say go straight, este es como vaya recto. Lo que pasa es que me, al traducirlo a veces suena redundante. Go straight ahead como vaya recto hacia adelante, right? Y then, that's why I say siga recto. Right? Son like siga recto, right? Ok, ok. Thanks. Ok. What else? Teacher, yep. y en uh, go to right, it's the same, vaya recto. No, 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 right. go straight, no, no. Re, eh, no. right, en este caso es para la derecha, ok, turn right, oh, okay. para, para decir recto, recto, se puede decir right, uh, como una persona honesta, correcta, recta, pero en, ya es eh, en otro sentido, I can say he's a, ok, he's, say he's the right man, es el hombre correcto, mm -hmm. the right woman, ok, right. in that case, yes, he's a, It's like a personality. Mm -hmm. In some a, cases, yes. Car como característica. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Ah, ok. Person ok. Ah, ok. Let me see. Déjame pensar en qué otro right uh, could be. No. Yes, because siempre en ese uh, póngalo recto. Ok, this is straight. Por ejemplo, el pelo liso, straight hair. El pelo liso, recto, right? But then you use the straight. Teacher puede escribir el, el go straight ahead. Yes. Por. Go straight ahead. Okay, let's then check. Go straight ahead. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Now let's see the, the knowledge check. Here we have uh, this one. And listen to this. Ah, but I guess we need the computer room. Units 13 to 14 progress check. Page 98. Exercise 1. Listening. What are you looking for? Listen to the conversations. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. One. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters, and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great. Thanks. Okay. Where Two. Can the woman, where can so they what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. We don't have any drinks. Let's stop at the supermarket on the way there. We can get some lemonade. Good idea. Three. Excuse me. Is there a gas station around here? Um, I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. You can't miss it. I'm glad it's not far. I really need more gasoline. Four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. 
There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. All right. So, where can the woman get a scam? At the drugstore. No, you can buy a scam to the drugstore. Obviously, not movie theater, not the bank. And what do they need in the second conversation? They, they need they drinks. They need drinks. Drinks, okay, things to drink. Make them find some lemonade. And where is the gas station? On the, on the corner, corner on the of, of Main and First. The corner first. of Main and First. Yes, you see here, you need the two streets, right? The Main Street, Hello, okay, or First Avenue. Very good. Very good. And then the number four? Go up, up the street, go down for the two block. street. Yeah. Go down the street for two blocks and turn left. You can use the restroom at the restroom, yes? The second, the second, second chair. Go up the street. The second go up. For two blocks, mm -hmm. right, turn left. You can use the restroom at the restroom. Okay. Let's see. Okay, you're right. Okay, so we have the first one. Here is at the drugstore. They need drinks. Uh, the gas station is in the corner of Main and First. And the woman can go to the restroom, go up the street. If you see here, for example, you go up the street. Go up the street for two blocks, turn left. This is a different way. She can use the restroom at the restroom. That's it. Okay, there is one. Tomorrow we have some reading. Okay, here's uh, about uh, walk up Fifth Avenue. Okay, about some directions, but also, and we finish, we will finish the section three. Okay, and Ya llenaron ustedes el, ya completaron el, el examen, the midterm test. ¿No lo han hecho aún? Ok, si ya lo hicieron, no problem. Eh, ¿Han tenido algún inconveniente con la plataforma hasta ahorita con las tres secciones? No, teacher. No, no teacher. ¿Duda? Yo sí, yo no he podido entrar. ¿Por qué, Evelyn? No sé, pero ya me metí varias veces y eso yo no lo puedo ver tampoco. Uh -huh. Y este, y ya reportó con inglés corporativo. Fíjese que sí, envié un correo, eh, solo me volvieron a enviar otra vez el link, pero no, o sea, igual, siempre ah, no me deja. Los celulares de, de, de la página. Permítame un segundito, please. You sure? Yes. I gotta leave right now. Eh, who's speaking, Fernando? Okay, sure. no, no problem. Yeah, I think uh, I have the, ya yeah, tengo la asistencia, no problem. And yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, take care, so see you yeah. tomorrow. Okay, take care, you too. See you tomorrow. Evelyn, solo déjeme su nombre completo. Y voy a mandar un mensaje. Y mañana dice, Evelyn, Janet, right? Sí. And el, ahorita no alcanzo a ver su apellido. What is your last name? Valle Velasquez. Bye. Perfect, no problem. Anybody else? Algun, alguien más okay. tiene algún tipo de problema? No? No, teacher. Ok, con la gramática, no, vocabulario, todo eso vamos bien. Yes. Ok, excellent. No. Then, eh, for tomorrow, for tomorrow we have, eh, vamos a hacer una, una revisión del examen. Eh, vamos a hacer esta lectura. That we have here, woke up about directions, places, places to visit, tourism, and the other practice from map. okay? So this is for tomorrow. So we have photo practice, reading, and the test, the midterm test. Okay, so we have, we have a, we are going to be a little bit busy. Okay, everyone. So if you are tired, sleepy, 
hungry, go to eat, go to rest, go to sleep, and dream in English, okay? So have a very good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. 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 Good night, teac